This is gonna be a voiceover. This is gonna be a voiceover. Cause I just can't do it. So let's just jump right into this. today's video we are talking all about the skin so some of you may or may not know but i used to struggle with severe acne and it wasn't until it wasn't until february of this year that i actually got clear skin and i will have a video coming up soon about what i did to achieve clear skin but today we are going to be talking about what I'm doing to maintain my clear skin. Um, so we're going to be doing my skincare routine. But before we get started, if you have not already joined the family, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave me some comments in the comment section down below if you like videos like this. Then just continue to watch. So the first thing we're going to do is rinse with warm water and go in with our cleanser. Now the cleanser that I have been loving is the Cetaphil cleanser. It's a gentle cleanser, so it's great for everyday use. And it also has a hypoallergenic formula, which is great for sensitive skin. Now your cleanser is the one thing in your skincare routine that does not stay on your skin because of course we rinse it off. So you wanna make sure that you work it in for at least one minute so that you can really get the benefits of your cleanser. We're going to go ahead and rinse with cool water and we're going to use a washcloth to pat dry now the reason that we pat dry is of course because we don't want to cause premature wrinkles i would typically use a paper towel but because i'm on a layover i'm using a washcloth but paper towels are great because they don't store bacteria and you can use a new one every day so the next thing that we're going to go in with is our toner and I've really been loving the Thayer's Witch Hazel Toner in Rose Water because rose petals are a natural estrogen so they tighten pores, they help to control oil production and they also lock in moisture. Um, rose Water is also full of vitamin C so that helps with strengthening your skin cells and fading blemishes and acne scars. Now typically we go in with a cotton round, but I only had cotton balls, so we just improvised. And I want to give that a second to just kind of seep into my skin before we move to the next step, which is more vitamin C. Now I use a little bit more than I should have, but you know what? A little bit of extra vitamin C won't hurt, okay, honey? We're trying to fade these acne scars and these dark marks. So I'm just going in with more vitamin C and um, I just really love the Mario Badescu Serum. Now it is a little bit more on the pricey side, but it's good. Like, look at that glow. This is, this is what we're here for. So of course, we're gonna let that soak into the skin before we move in with our next step, which is eye cream. Now, eye cream is super, super important. Eye cream is made to provide anti-aging benefits. The skin around our eyes is 10 times thinner than the rest of our face. So that means that it's more delicate, it's more prone to creasing and drying out easily. So you really wanna use that eye cream to moisturize that area. And it's also super important that you use your ring finger to pat around that area to prevent from sagging and wrinkles. Now my favorite part is moisturizer. And this Vici moisturizer is bomb Com. It has hyaluronic acid in it, which is great for hydration and plumbing the skin. And it just gives a really nice radiant look to the skin. So I apply it evenly across my skin and I spread it using outward motions on my face as to not apply too much pressure while still being able to get a nice, even, moisturized and natural glow. And when I tell you this stuff feels so good and it smells bomb too, you guys have to try this moisturizer. 
This next step is extremely important, if not the most important, and that is sunscreen. And I love the Aveeno, I use SPF 70, and similarly to the moisturizer, I place it and then I apply it with outward motions. But sunscreen is super important because the sun can cause most of the damage to our skin. So it's very important that we use sunscreen to protect our skin. It also helps with discoloration, dark spots, um, sagging, and just the overall health of our skin. So don't skip on the sunscreen. I promise you it's worth the extra step. So I love to finish off my skincare routine with this Mario Badescu rose water spray and it's just very refreshing, very hydrating. I love the scent. Love that. And of course, you cannot forget about your lips. And I use Simple Bliss Text, but anything that will leave your lips moisturized and plump, use that, okay? We don't want dry lips. I really hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Hit that like button, and I will see you in my next one.